I am making for you my fries. But it's not just any fry. It's my Nunya Business chili on top of my fries, and I'm just gonna load it up just like I do at the stadium. So let me show you how I get it started right here. Uh, in my pot, I've got some olive oil and some onions, just getting sauteed and rendering down nice and tender and translucent. And to that, I'm gonna add in some garlic. Now, this is my easy Nunya business chili. Very simple to make. Usually chili is all kinds of layers of flavor and, you know, maybe 30 to 45 minutes of percolating on the stove top. This is gonna be done in a minute. All right, so into that olive oil, I just said the oil, but I added a little bit of the garlic. You can smell it right now, nice and fragrant. To that, a little bit of cumin. I love cumin in my chili. Just makes it taste like meat, if you ask me. And that's another trick. You add ingredients that are gonna bring the flavor. Now I've got my pot here on kind of like a medium to medium high. Move everything around. And adding the oil and the spices right now really blooms the spices. So I'm gonna add in some chili powder. And blooming just really means bringing it back to life, you know? A lot of times when you buy spices at the grocery store, it's already been ground up for like maybe six months to a year. So as it sits there and those natural oils are just kind of dormant in that bottle, you gotta bring it back to life and it just starts to really smell and taste like it should. And to that, I'm gonna add in my ground beef and then just go in there and break it up. Oh, it just started to snow. Perfect football weather. Okay, so as we're going into the pot here with a pound of beef, I like to add a teaspoon of salt, and that's a really good ratio for every pound of ground meat. A teaspoon of salt will get it to the perfect flavor level for you. You don't have to worry about like tasting and wondering. So right over the top, some salt. And then anytime you think salt, you gotta think pepper. Get that in there. I always end up loosening the top, right? When you loosen the top, there's a plate in the bottom. It takes the plate further apart from each other, the grinder, and it'll give you a bigger, coarser grind of pepper. So the looser, the bigger boulders you get, and the tighter, the finer pepper you get. Get that in there. I like a lot of pepper. And then just start moving it around and breaking it up. This is a really good all-purpose game day chili. All right, so see, that beef is nice and browned. Now it's time for the nunya part, okay? Usually, so much work to get the flavor into a chili. Phone it in with some jarred marinara sauce, right? It's got everything in it you want, the oregano, probably some basil in there, the garlic, the onions. Yeah, we just put some onions in there. It's just so we felt like we did something. But this is really bringing the flavor right here. Pour that right in. Mm-hmm. Get as much of that out as I can. Oh, yeah. There you go. Stir this up. All right, so look at that. All came together so quick. Minimal ingredients. They all packed a flavor punch. And I gotta take a look at these fries. I'm gonna let this percolate for a second, but I got the fries in here. Yes, yes. Okay, let me crinkle fries, obviously. I think crinkle fries, when you're doing any kind of sauce like cheese or chili over the top, really, really smart because they're kind of like the fusilli of fries. They catch all the sauce in the ridges and they have a little bit more of like structure, right? They're like the rebar of fries as well. Over the top of my fries, now this is not at the stadium, but I like some scallions. So hey, why not chop these up really quick and get these into the game plan. I just enjoy the whole fanfare of going to the game, eating outside in the open air, and then enjoying a drink or two while you watch your team. All right, scallions good to go. It's time to get this baby put together. All right, so I've already got some other chili right here. Bring this big baby over. Then cannot forget the cheese sauce. Close this up. And now it's just to put it together. Oh. Come on, look at this. Katie, I know you love chili. Check this out, girlfriend. None your business chili. Ooh, that sounds so good. Extra cheese, please. 
You know it, girlfriend. And it's another Nunya business hit because uh, I did not make the cheese sauce. Just heating it up. A little bit of cheese sauce. Come on. Buy it, heat it up. None of your business. Mmm. The cascade, as Jeff would say. That looks delicious. All right. Remember, scallions over the top, a little bit of a crunch. And then, just like at the stadium, some sliced pickle jalapenos. Get them at the nacho station. I'm telling you, I will take that tray of fries all around that section just to get every topping that I want on it. There you have it. Very simple. My Nunya Business Chili Cheese Fries.